How's it going today, everybody? Uh, today is uh, it's going to be a red onion. Yeah, I uh, went to the store, picked out what I thought was like the best one. Um, so we're going to have some fun and try to work quickly, intuitively. I've got about uh, three hours till uh, uh, I've got to stop the stream. So we'll we're just going to kind of kick it off and see how far we get. Thanks for being here. Um, if you have questions, please drop them off in the comments and I'll periodically get to take a look and, and respond. So, all right, let's get it going. All right. I, you know, I always like to start off, uh, establishing some good, uh, dark values. And, you know, as I take a look here, um, I see probably the darkest area kind of down in here. Uh, maybe the underside here. But we're gonna, much like we did yesterday, if you were here when we worked on the peach, um, you know, we've got, uh, we've got a lot up to, it's gonna be some really warm, warm darks. Um, it's gonna be, gonna be fun. You could use a lot of lizard and crimson. Um, that's always a good day. Uh, and so just establish some of these dark values in. That I see some of the kind of most intense ones and you know really the rest has um the rest is just a little bit lighter than this or i can perceive some level of color um so you know i can i can go ahead and dip into the alizarin crimson get a nice dark warm reddish dark um you know i just Want it to be barely perceptible um, for maybe kind of this area underneath here. Um, it'd be hard to see, but there is uh, there is actually some color there, and yeah, that's it's kind of the goal. Make it dark, make it seem almost black, but just having the knowledge that oh, there's there's something something there. Yeah, there's a lot of information down here. Kind of I ended up setting it on its uh, upside down uh, because I just I liked the way the way it looked, and so we'll see if we can communicate this area, which is a little uh, a little ambiguous even in the source photo. So uh, our we are there's a challenge ahead <laughs> in this. Um, so still kind of searching. You know, this is really dark here. I can barely make out a break down here. And we'll kind of see as we, as we get nearer what, uh, what truly stands, continues to stand. Uh, what details we can find. I went ahead and sketched out a little bit um, ahead of time just to save us a little bit of time. Um, even though drawing is obviously a really important aspect of this whole thing, um, not too many people were hanging out during the drawing portion yesterday. So the people have spoken. Kind of filling in still some of these shapes and looking for these really dark ones, you know, like this one's spun back here. Um, can't really see what all it's doing. I think I carried it out a little too far in my drawing, so I'm going to bring it back some. 
shapes like that will be fun as they stick out against the background, which will be just slightly lighter. Um, And I'm, I'm, I'm just hunting around. So this is, uh, I kind of put things together piecemeal. So I'm hunting, hunting for these dark, dark values. Um, as they, as they show up here and there. You know, or, or these alizarin crimson shadows here that are going to be really fun, just almost, you know, pure tube color. It's going to really, really sing when we get the light and everything around there. Okay. I think I'm now getting to the point where this area here is probably about the next most dark. So I'm going to move to it and that'll start to give me a little bit of uh, to play. And uh, who knows, I may end up kind of doing a little bit of area around uh, for a bit. Um, you know, it's, you know, backgrounds, while not uh, necessarily super fun to watch, you know, all, all, it all matters, right? It's kind of a fun See, finding a little bit of cerulean blue in this side here, just a little reflective of some of the other things happening in the room. First time I've done a red onion. There you go. I don't even know if I've done a yellow onion. Yellow onion. So, a lot of a lot of firsts today, and you get to be here. I'll probably make that shadow under there just a little darker or this just a little lighter because I like um, barely perceiving this break, this value break. There's all these skins, um, this papery light. Uh, I mean, that, I mean that's what it is, right? You know, yesterday we, we did the peach. And if you didn't uh, get a chance to see that one, you can just hop back on um, my channel and uh, it was yesterday's live stream. And... Uh, and so today we'll be trying to get these kind of papery, semi-transparent, reflective layers. Unlike yesterday's, you know, it was all focused on this kind of peach, fuzz, texture. It's really, you know, and capturing these textures in oil painting is, is uh, I mean, it's the goal. You know, every time I I'm, I'm sit down, you know, you're kind of asking yourself, uh, you know, what, what's, what's, the, what's the essence? Of, of this and what's the character um, if I had to um, you know focus on one attribute of, uh, of this vegetable you know we're gonna we're gonna really play up all these layers and um, until we have a really nice uh, image at the end okay how's it going a72, good to see ya. Thanks for being here. If you've got questions, let me know. I have to kind of turn around to see the monitor. I need to do a serious reorganization of the studio so that things make more sense. But uh, yeah, feel free to drop off a question if you got it. It's good to see ya. Thanks for being here. Okay, so, you know, I've gotten some of these dark values in. I want to just have something for them to butt up against in here and kind of my dark, uh, this area that's a little darker in the background. So I'll shift gears and get out a big, um, a big round brush. Um, you know, it doesn't need to be, and I'm just going to kind of mop in this back area. I've, I've totally like ruined these brushes. They're, uh, they're pretty much garbage. So I guess there's, there's something, you, you know, you, you can keep certain brushes around. I mean, this thing is, uh, the ferrule is coming off. I don't even think it's made for oil painting, you know, but I'm still using it. <laughs> so, so it's, uh, 
So don't, don't, get, don't, don't ever get too caught up in uh, brush this, brush that. Um, so I'm gonna get a little of my uh, black, my mixed black. You know, I, I perceive that the area behind the onion is not completely dark. Uh, so I still see just a little bit of color. Um, it is warmer, a little pur uh, purple, and that pale purple light back there will be really fun to get when we get there. Um, so I'm gonna do just about all I can if I can avoid um, having to use any white here and just kind of mix up a nice rich dark background color. I mean I might need to just dip in a little bit to um, kind of give it, yeah that's about right. Kind of like these big rounds for backgrounds uh, using like a, a big round just uh, at this point I mean this brush is so kind of tired um, it uh, it doesn't matter this thing is just gonna make a mess I think so you know I'll try to kind of keep still try to keep my drawing you might have noticed that I've, I've changed up kind of how far I, I want the um, the element, you know, the, my, my source photo, you know, this doesn't come to, down as far. Um, and, you know, I kind of do it on the purpose. I, I like, uh, um, I, I like kind of the lines coming in from the side to, um, you know, line, lines going off, off the edge of a canvas are always good compositional elements. They're, they're a, what I like to call a way in a way into the composition and even something as simple as, all right, I'm literally putting an onion in the middle of the frame. But it's nice to have a few lines, a few diagonals going off the edge. Uh, it, gives our, it gives our eye a way into the picture. Have I used black yet? Um, well, it's, yeah, good, good, good question. I've, I've not used any black, um, but, but I've mixed um, some, and this is it right here. Yeah, AC, AC72, my black is a mixture of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. And, and those are, uh, I mean, there's a lot of mixed blacks out of there, out there you can make. Um, I, I like those, I like do, using those because I feel like, uh, well, I don't feel like, I know that um, you get, you get a, chromo, a chromatic black. So something that has a little bit of chroma in it and uh, it's not completely, um, uh, achromatic because you know something happens when you mix colors with you know, achromatic colors like white or like an ivory black or a Mars black or lamp black you're you're mixing against something that is completely achromatic and is without color there's nothing wrong with that um, but uh, I, I find that I think there's uh, there's a little more richness to my oil paintings um, that I'm uh, that I'm always mixing into other colors that are on the palette. So for instance, you know, in this onion, we're gonna use a lot of ultramarine blue. Well, that same ultramarine blue is in this black and that I've mixed. We might not be able to necessarily perceive it, but, uh, but we do understand it. Um, and it, it creates a little more unity in the piece. So we're, we're gonna use a lot of these same colors in different areas, it's different tube colors. Um, so yeah, that's, that's probably a good question. I didn't, uh, I didn't quite, uh, get to, uh, the, yeah, the colors on the palette today, same, same as yesterday. Um, but, uh, our, um, uh, I've got a, a, <laughs> a lead white, excuse me. Um, a too much, I've been painting with too much lead white, clearly, uh, lead white, cad yellow, yellow ochre, uh, cad red medium, um, cer cerulean blue, uh, Burnt Sienna, Viridian, Alizarin Crimson, and uh, Ultramarine Blue. And this is just my mixed black. I like to kind of have it out and ready uh, just to kind of pull from, especially on a, a day like today. Um, We 
we may leave you know, this background a little uh, brush strokey, a little wash, maybe a little bit of a wash to it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's always... Um, I don't like to be too decided on anything uh, until kind of the main elements have been brought in. I would like to go ahead and kind of mix the color out to here where you know the light's coming into the window here is a dark corner and then it's striking uh, the wall over here. Um, I'd like to go ahead and establish that some. I'll have to mix a little more uh, black here in a second. Run low. Seems like it gets uh, maybe a little more burnt sienna in it. There's something a little more ruddy as it comes this way in and around the onion. This, this, this brush is so funny. Uh, the ferrule is just flopping around. Uh, it's like barely staying on. <laughs> so, uh, you, you know, you can, you can keep using your brushes for a long time. They, they, uh, they last, even when they're literally falling apart. Even when they're like this one, just uh, completely ruined, uh, but still, st still mostly holding together. Kind of working on that uh, lighter edge over there. I didn't quite make that quite light enough yet. You know, and at this this point, uh, you know, someone asked a really good question yesterday, like. Um, you know, I was late in the painting, uh, and, you know, um, she asked, are you, uh, are you using much medium at this point? And the answer was, well, not, not really. Uh, but at this point I am, you know, I'm kind of blocking these in. There's a lot of uh, medium going down and, you know, as I kind of mix these background colors as I work my way that way. Yeah, I like that. It needs to be just a tad lighter. All right. I think we've arrived. That kind of light side over there. right up to the edge here and to be working on I kind of decided to do a, a weird rounded table a little bit of gets like perched on top of a, kind of a little bit of an apex or something I, I don't know those are the uh, decisions uh, I don't I don't think too much about when they come, I just go for it. How many brushes? Yeah. 
And what what uh, what care do you take to avoid muddy colors? I actually like muddy colors. <laughs> um, and uh, I so you know here's um, here's the palette, and I'm gonna keep using. Um, the the same brushes I might wipe them out uh, I don't keep and I've talked about this on uh, previous streams I, I don't keep a, a jar of mineral spirits around because I um, I'm just trying to avoid as many um, uh, it, or uh, VOCs in the studio as possible you know I, I don't if I can help it I just won't um, I'll yeah, trying trying to avoid the brain cell loss, right? I mean, it's uh, I've got I've got a family, I gotta keep taking care of. Um, so trying trying to take care with that, um, and uh, so I'll just wipe the brushes off, um, or I'll just grab a new brush and I'll I'll clean a lot at the end of the night, uh, in, in the end of the session. So oftentimes, and you'll you'll see later. A72, you'll see um, that uh, when, when I get there um, later, I'll just have kind of a handful of brushes. Some are lighter values, some are darker values, just depending on kind of what I'm what I'm working on, what section. Um, especially when we get into the onion proper, you can really see uh, see that unfold. Okay. All right, that's good enough to move on. As I say, get mo. Let's keep going. All right. The background, you know, there's uh, this cast shadow from the window that I want to include, and I want to pay attention to just some of these things, so the surface that it's sitting upon. Um, but there's a, quite a bit of difference between like this value here and the value out here. So probably what I'll do is I'll kind of begin on the shadow, try to match it as best I can, kind of have that come around here. It seems to soften. I'll probably put it in here, excuse me, put it in here, wrap it around here, and then kind of take this around this way and getting lighter as I go, coming uh, to this kind of highlight here. Uh, so back to your muddy, muddy colors question. Um, uh, I like mixed color and a case like this, we're gonna we're gonna get into some color that is does need to be fairly pure um, and and highly saturated, not mixed with a lot of a lot of other color. But um, at the same time, uh, I'm gonna be working in and out of the things that that I that I make. So, you know, I was already making a dark value here. I'm just gonna keep using this um, to mix this next color here. I like. I like doing this sort of stuff because this is already, it's already got some, you know, a bit of the mojo from the piece happening in it. So I'm just gonna keep using the same brush as I mix this uh, color shadow here, um, which, you know, it's a little bit of white, um, mix, uh, grab some of my black. This turns a little more, uh, it's kind of, there's an interesting little kind of green at the edge, so. I'm gonna mix some burnt sienna, some of the viridian, let those neutralize a little bit. And uh, just like set this down, see what happens here, a little, little too dark. Uh, Cause I want it to just be lighter than what's happening back there. So I'm gonna snag a little bit of white. Um, and just, I want, I want there to be a clear break. It doesn't have to be too clear. I'm gonna, my, uh, get a little yellow ochre in there. Just gonna see where we end up. It's a little more burnt sienna than I would have initially thought. A lot of times on these really simple ones, I kind of work from uh, back to front, Sa saving the best for last. Hi, Marianne. Welcome. Good to have you. If you have any questions, let me know. Do you like the painting or do you like onions? Uh, the uh, 
the heart eyes emoji. <laughs> what, what are you mostly excited about? <laughs> um, we're we're going to kind of get there. So, you know, I've mixed a little bit of white here. Um, you can see that this, and this is a game of comparisons, right? Painting is, you know, I've made the shadow. I want it to be a little lighter than this. Well, we might get back into that and adjust it some more. Kind of depends on uh, how much time we have. Um, but working this way, I, I do have a break and it's a little lighter. So I'm going to have to, uh, before, actually, before I get too carried away, I like to put the shadow in underneath uh, the onion itself. Um, you know, it's uh, kind of these really interesting. I mean, it, it's just from the stuff reflecting the light around it, but this kind of warm orangey color. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll play those up. There is some darker values there. We'll probably have to come back on top of this area and establish. Got my, still have my brush from earlier, my, my black. I'm going to, the little top of the onion here, I'm going to just kind of come underneath because I do see a really dark line. And it's okay to be excited solely by uh, um, red onions. I'm... Okay. It's kind of green right there, um, if you can perceive that. And those are those are little cues that I'll uh, be constantly on the lookout for. Maybe in here too, or toward the edge, as it. Uh, that shadow kind of decays. It gets a lot lighter. Almost uh, really the value is very similar to what's already here. So it's kind of fun green on the front of this. We'll see if we just pull a little bit of viridian. yellowy green uh, th this is really where painting is uh, just a lot of fun for me is searching out those colors maybe maybe it's right maybe it's wrong I don't know <laughs> but you know I'm going for it um, and it, it can always be adjusted and I think that's kind of one of the important things to remember Okay, I kind of got that shadow in. Um, you know, some of those same kind of interesting greens are happening along here, so I might, uh, I might play that up a little bit. You know, uh, I, I chose this. I know it's hard to tell. It's kind of a it's a pale green cloth for the you know for these really intense um, you know purples and violets of of the onion to rest on, and that. You know those those all all purposeful because I think those colors will they'll do a lot for one another. Um, okay, we gotta start getting a lot lighter here. And you'll notice uh, a seventy two. I'm just using the same brush, uh, and I've just kind of worked my way this way. And it's nice because I want these to, these are really neutral colors. And if I if I start mixing again, I'm liable to uh, you know kind of go over the top. It's still way too dark. Um, let's see. That's a little better. Um, I want to get the color right. Let's see. Yeah, I like that better. Is there any way that you can share the reference photo you are using? I would love to try painting the onion. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I think I could do that. Um, uh, I will do my best to remember to put that on the website um, uh, before I end the stream, and then I can provide a link. So uh, thanks for asking that. I, I, will, I will try to do the very same thing. Um, uh, <laughs> thanks, Marianne. You're very kind. <laughs> um, but it's also, like I said, it's also okay, okay if you really like red onions too. I'm good, good with that. Here, here's the fun thing about 
doing fruit and vegetables still lets you like last night uh we had uh we got to we had some stir fry and it, uh, chicken stir fry and we used at least half of this guy yesterday so so i am obviously working from a photo reference but it i could have very easily have just set this up in the corner and uh i've been working from it too um but we decided to eat it because uh you know it's it's what you do you buy your still life food you don't let it go to waste. <laughs> that's the that's, that's the Midwesterner in me. <laughs> and you know, I'm still using this big brush. I'm bumping up into you know some of the uh, purples and onion there. And that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a little bit of a mess. Um, and I I still like the speed with which um, things happen when. Uh, working with this this bigger round um, I'm gonna try to tone down this edge here got a little a little too light it's gonna it's gonna mess things up so started so we'll just kind of if I want that light decay, this kind of shadow decay, all of that to, to work. Uh, I don't want this weird, strange light point back here. I'm just trying to bring it down some. Still trying to keep some of the color, the burnt sienna, viridian. Uh, and, you know, I, I like those, those kind of complementary, you know, across the color wheel sort of mixes. Uh, I find that you know, they themselves are, are really good at making making that energy happen uh, in the paint. Cover that little spot up. Otherwise, we'll be really sad later. That'll still we're going to probably get some more clarity there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. Uh, kind of bring this light color into here and then that way we're mostly ready to get to the good stuff try not to keep you waiting too long I, I can go back into the, um, the the surface the tabletop the background later it, it might even benefit from us a, a second um, layer anyhow Okay, so still kind of dark there, but I think that's all right right there. Um, but it gets, you can see how quickly it lightens up from this shadow. Uh, and, you know, this just isn't there yet. Um, it's kind of yellowy, so I'm going to pull in the yellow ochres a little bit. Yellow ochres kind of drying out. So, uh, I'm reaching the bottom of the tube, and it gets, gets pretty crusty after, <laughs> after a while. We're gonna keep lightening them. Yep, get some more. Oops. Accidentally grabbed a bit of uh, cad yellow. Wasn't quite ready for that. Although it's in a very fortuitous place because I was already kind of trying to make a green right there, so that's working. Um, as you can see, this is really similar to the gray I already have down, at least in this area. It'll, it's going to lighten up um, as, as we go, um, as we kind of go across. Uh, how's your daily routine like? Ooh, yeah, not only about painting. Yeah, what do I read? What do I watch? Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, uh, great, great, uh, great question. Um, well, uh, last last night uh, is 
it was a bit of an anomaly. So I didn't, um, I didn't sleep very well last night. So, um, I, I slept in. So, nor so normally the, the routine looks like I try to wake up about 5 AM and, um, I, uh, I spend time uh, in the in the Bible in the morning, and then you know I do some praying, meditation. Uh, I go work out, uh, so I have a gym membership, and um, and then uh, after after work out, come back home. Uh, I mean, you're you're getting everything here. <laughs> you asked for it. Um, I, I come back home and I. Uh, you know, get, get get ready for the day, get cleaned up, because uh, I'm sweaty mess, and then I wake up the kids, because, you know, I'm, I'm a dad, and wake up the kids, get them going, um, and they are always slow to kind of get around, you know, make them breakfast, get, uh, get everyone else awake. Uh, my wife usually wakes up about the time the kids wake up. And then um, I uh, spend, uh, I try to get into the studio by about, oh, nine, not, not nine. Ideally, it's like eight, eight thirty, but um, but I'm a dad and so I'm getting the kids ready for the day and you know what, they, they're kind of on their own timeline as much as I would like things to go a little speedier. So, um, get, get everyone going, get in, get in the studio about nine. If, if I've got a painting and everything ready, I just, I immediately get going on that. Uh, listen to, you know, if I'm not live streaming, then, you know, I listen to kind of ambient music, um, documentaries, sermons, um, just anything to occupy my mind. Nice thing is, uh, I do have a, a studio mate, a good friend of mine who, uh, comes in every day. He's a graphic designer, um, uh, but he's usually in the studio. Uh, Sean's in the studio sometimes, if you met Sean in the, from past streams. And, um, and then, yeah, kind of get to work, get to painting, get to creating. And, you know, there's a lot of other things that, um, are, are required, uh, from getting, uh, I don't know, like, like this morning, for instance, uh, I was hoping to get to the live stream, but, you know, a, I had to kind of be watching the kids. School hasn't quite started for us yet. Um, and so I was sort of one ear to their play to make sure everyone was behaving themselves. And then trying to finish up a few um, uh, the more paperwork side of things. Um, that's, I mean, that's a whole nother part of this. It's like, um, it, it has to be, it, this is my sole gig. So uh, I'm, I'm constantly, um, doing all the things that, uh, wearing all the hats that, you know, a, 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 a general, a company has, you know, so, um, doing a little marketing, answering emails, uh, talking with, um, this morning was the internet service provider, uh, you know, connections were slow and had to, uh, have the tech walk through a few things, um, so, th so that I could get to the stream later today. Right. Um, so that's, that's kind of how it goes. And then, um, I try to end at five every day and that, that's, that is my goal because I don't, um, I don't want to paint the evening away and, or, just do things that take me away uh, from my family. And so I spend a lot of time uh, in the evenings with uh, my wife and my kids. And we usually try to do something um, that's sort of fun. <laughs> and, uh, and then 
Although usually there's there's a lot of kind of cleaning up after the day if they if they've been home all day we're kind of uh, winding the the evening down. Um, yep, because then we do dinner dinner together always at this always at the same table, um, and uh, and then um, to bed by about nine o'clock. Really, that's really exciting, isn't it? <laughs> but but to get up at five and to get all the things I need done, you know. Uh, there's, you know, there's none of those early morning things are going to happen if, um, if, if the kids are awake, my wife's awake. So if I, if I want to get that kind of really important time in, kind of start my day off, uh, well, then, uh, um, then yeah, that's, that's kind of how it goes. Um, I honestly, I don't see a lot of movies. Um, and, uh, I, I'm a little picky about that. I don't, I just don't like them. <laughs> I don't like a lot of movies. They they just feel uh, really predictable and uh, and boring. Uh, yeah, I just I I hate to say that, but um, I, I I'll say I'll say this. The, I'm excited about the movie Dune coming out. Uh, I, I've loved the book for you know twenty years or more, and I've always wanted to see it adapted to the big screen, and so I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about Dune. Uh, I've not been excited about a movie, ooh, I don't know, maybe 10 years. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but um, I, I just really don't do a lot of that. I, I read a lot to my kids, so right now we're um, reading The Hobbit. So I'm reading The Hobbit aloud to the kids. So that's that's kind of my, I, I frankly like a lot of um, uh, fiction, uh, storytelling, and you know, that's Probably not too surprising, uh, being an artist, being a painter. So I like, uh, like reading that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, ho that's that's kind of what the day looks like. Uh, you know, it it's probably not very romantic, um, but uh, that's that's usually Monday through Friday, and sometimes on Saturday, depending on uh, you know the the workload. And I've definitely got a lot going on. Hey, I like. Uh, I think we're ooh, we got to get some good atmosphere there. Um, so we've, we've established the stage. Um, the backdrop needs a little more work, but I'm but I'm happy uh, with this overall space down here. I want to keep it energetic uh, and lively. Um, I don't want to do too much more. You know, I was trying to slowly. This is kind of the lightest spot here, and it, the light decays a little bit as it goes toward the shadow. I was paying attention to some of those. You know, overall, it gets lighter here, darker to the side, darker back behind. Um, yeah, those are just the little things. I might just lighten this up a little more right here behind. Um, it'll be a little exaggerated probably, but that's okay. Use some of this. Okay. All right, uh, man, I think we're ready for what you've all been waiting for. Let's paint that onion. All right, um, kind of like I was doing at the beginning when I was establishing some of those really rich darks. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try to find these dark values and move toward the, the lighter values. And if you don't know what I mean by value, I just mean relative dark, light and darkness. So um, here, here is value. I'm gonna here, here's value right here. Uh, you know, just a grayscale. That's all value is. But value is your is the key to making everything work. You get the value right. You get the painting. You get the your you're, you're going to be successful. Uh, and especially you know when it comes to representational painting. So, and I'm assuming if you're here watching this, you're into representational painting. And, and not uh, not any other form uh, of uh, of art. So this is pretty dark along this edge here, but there's a little bit of reflected light, and if you can make it out, but but it is there. It's just this little uh, space here is reflected. Um, so it's kind of bluish. I'm gonna. It's maybe a bit much but I just barely dipped my brush in there and now I can 
kind of push a little harder, getting back to uh, what was in the brush before, which is that kind of darker, so I'm kind of pressing and pushing it out. Um, and that, that little bit that I tried to snag in order to kind of catch that reflected light on the bottom side, you know, is still there. And, but now it's, it's breaking down. So A72, as to your uh, question, you know, like, br like brushes or muddiness, it's like, I'm still using the same brush. <laughs> um, and I, I haven't even wiped it. I'm just kind of mixing it until I'm like, yes, there it is. It's working. Um, so this carries on. Let me get a little more cerulean in here. It's just sort of reflected. It's a little lighter. Um, so we're just reflecting that surface until we meet up with the edge here. I don't want to lose that, um, and we'll kind of see how, how far we get. Uh, occasionally I'm dipping into the medium using very little. Um, I, I like, I like some stiffness. Um, you know, I, I, I need some, I need some, uh, viscosity, you know, for medium, but I still like the paint to be pretty stiff, uh, against my brush when I'm, when I'm working. Um, so using very little medium now. Uh, I, I have a, a lighter ground layer here, this color that I've painted in beforehand. And um, if I'm going to achieve these darks in this kind of a la primo one go at this, I'm going to have to kind of rake across some of these darks, paint them very thickly uh, in order to get the coverage that I desire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Great. Uh... Marianne, I didn't even see your question when you when you asked it. That's amazing. Uh, no, I'm uh, the the paint texture is pretty buttery, and so I'm just working right into that texture, um, and I in, it feels like the more the medium, of course, the more thinner it's going to be, um, uh, the less coverage, and so you know I'm really chasing coverage right now. And so the, the paint is thick. Um, it's like uh, it's like if you had um, some butter out on the counter, and it was it was melted in the summer uh, warmth of the of your of your home, you know, and that's kind of what it feels like um, coming off the brush. Some of you may not like that. I I like that sort of feel, but I uh, I I like how that how, like how that works. And um, anymore, I'm just used to working that way, pushing it around, um, and with very little uh, to kind of push back. All right, so this is this is going to be an interesting part. I really want. I don't have a lot of information here um, about this part of, you know, this kind of stem or, you know, I guess the part where the green comes out of the ground, I, you know, I, showing my, uh, even though I'm from Kansas, largely agricultural, I don't grow onions. So, um, so this point where, you know, I assume what was above ground was lopped off, um, is, uh, it's kind of hard to see and, uh, we'll have to battle around to probably make that work. Um, I don't like, or one of the things that with painting I don't like to do is have so much ambiguity that it's uncomfortable. Um, and because when the you know, viewer comes to the piece, I, I want them to be able to make out what's happening and understand it and not, you know, like, well, you know, what, what's this? What's that? Um, so that color is dead on right there. Just a light of, I didn't have very much paint on the brush and, um, it's interesting here too. It gets this kind of brown, 
Um, this is the fun part. <laughs> fun part, by the way, uh, where it's like uh, I get to start telling what's happening with light, um, and just this little little section. Already super excited. Um, and I'll, I'll have to clean up some of these edges and that's, uh, that's all part of it. Uh, me coming back in and making sure I've got the coverage. I, and because I, I like to fill in as much as I can, um, quickly. It's a lot of times, um, uh, little spots get, Oh wait, you know, I kind of missed the drawing right here. I need to go back in and take care of that. So since I'm working on the onion now, I'm going to save this brush as my like dark value brush for the onion. And I will only use it for that from henceforth. This is the time where, you know, I really start adding to um, the brush count. <laughs> and, you know, I need to find the next, uh, and I, you know, I'll use some little brushes, like, you know, for instance, I'll, I'll go ahead and get out you know, like a little little bit here because I just want to fill in some of these areas um, and so I don't mind you know getting this out I just want to make sure I've kind of cleaned this up in a way that that works and you know that little shadow in there it's kind of this it's really warm I think it's reflecting Possibly the ceiling, which is being reflected by kind of some of the warm sun outside. Uh, this is just window light, unfiltered window light. Out of my north facing window, big fan of north facing windows, uh, you know, as a, as a painter. Uh, at least in, you know, the northern hemisphere here. And uh, get really good uh, diffused light throughout the day, consistent light throughout the day. Um, it's really nice. In fact, when searching for a home, for the home, uh, you know that was one of the things to give the realtor. Hey, I need I need north facing windows so for my for my studio. <laughs> Among another list of things that I'm sure he felt were impossible to find. Okay. All right, you know, feeling okay about that. And at least that's uh, kind of bl blocked in. Um, I'll want to, and I may also then reserve this. You know, I've put some dark values on this brush. I may reserve this small brush for my kind of dark values brush. And I'll, and I'll set it aside too, because we're gonna kind of work on some mid-range values here, um, just so I can kind of finish this area so that uh, it looks okay. Oh, hey, 1 a.m. Yeah, you should, hey, 72, it's good to, it's good to, thanks for coming, on, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you next time. Yep, I'm happy to answer your questions anytime. Take care, take care. All right, uh, onward, onward and upward. Let's see. Yeah, and if you have questions, uh, don't, don't be shy. It gives me something fun to talk about. Um, I want to clean up this area here. Um, and so I need to pull back into some of these colors that I've mixed for the surface, the tabletop surface, a really pale green. Um, oh, I'll use, use this brush. I think that's right in here. Let's see if we, if we did okay. Yeah, we did all right. Um, that's always a little bit of a guessing game. Okay. What color was kind of right there? And it's gonna get that covered. And 
Same for the area behind. I just kind of wiped off the brush. It's still it's still dirty, um, but I'm gonna kind of use it to clean up this area some, this hard edge. Yeah, sometimes you just pull the paint, that's all right. I wanna get around my this nice flaky bit here. All right. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of all right with it. <laughs> there's there's a honest confession. That I haven't really fallen in love with anything just yet. Um, that's kind of common at this point where, you know, in each painting is this, you know, you have to go through the ugly teenager phase. Um, and, you know, I mean, I've got some, I have some really awkward middle school pictures and uh, every painting works the same way. You gotta, gotta go through middle school uh, and it's rough. It's never exciting. You know, you're, you're not quite getting the results you want yet. Um, and that's all right. So I'm not there. R really, it's not gonna get exciting until, you know, we, we get into this area, which I'm kind of saving the best for last um, in that respect. I'm not sure if that's reading the, like the top of the onion or not you know, just on, on its own, but it may as soon as we, of course, get the, you know, the bottom side here. We'll see. We'll find out. All right. Still a dark value, but it's a little, little lighter. Um, I'm going to finish out this area down here. That's really dark down there. So lots of alizarin crimson, lots of my mixed black, and hopefully that is gonna end up working. We've got, got more work to do. For now, I filled that space in. So this, um, this dark extends a little bit underneath this onion layer. Just paying attention to some of these Kind of how it's how it's drawn, I guess, if you want to think of it in those terms. Um, so this uh, this whole shape here is kind of what I'm looking at, and it's still dark. So again, using my same brush, I haven't wiped it out, I haven't rinsed it. Um, I'm gonna mix. Again, just use some of the color that's already there. And looks a little bit like there's just a tiny bit of yellow ochre. And we'll get started. Okay, it's a little lighter than that, so it's a good start anyway, right there. You know, and all I'm doing in a decision like this, and I'm not even saying this decision is right, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure, is I'm just comparing this space to this space. This is one of the darkest points. So value-wise, when I look back and forth between my source material, is this value here in good relation to the value I have here in the same way that, you know, my source is, is acting. And... Um, I think it's doing okay. It's 
close enough right now to kind of keep, keep making the next move. Which will, which will be fun. It's not that blue. It's more red. I remember pulling a little bit of... Yep, I think I've gone too far. See, now, now it's not working like that. There's a little bit of kind of neutralizing some of the things that I've done. Mixing directly onto the surface. But now I'm, but now I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good with what I just made here now. Um, but there was a, there was a, a good moment there where I wasn't, I was like, Ooh, add another color. Ooh, add another color. Ooh. Um, until, Oh, there it is. Okay. Good. You know, feeling good. Uh, so the process is, is actually very methodical. Um, and, uh, where I'm just kind of moving from one section to the next section, comparing that section to the section before, um, and working my way across the onion. I can't wait to mix some of these pinks in here. I'm so excited. I, uh, we'll see how long I can go without doing it. Somebody, uh, somebody start a timer. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to use some ultramarine blue. blue yeah maybe we'll see it's always um kind of like that So I've got that uh, brush I was using, kind of a darker liner. Um, I will clean it out here um, so that I can get almost uh, pure of my pure kind of my mixed black because I don't want to lose this edge, this deep deep shadow edge here of the of the onion because this is what I'm most excited about. So talked a little bit about the beginning. Um, what's, what's the essence, you know, yesterday was fuzzy peaches. Um, so, you know, we want to get that texture. So with the onion, we, it's about layers. It's about, um, you know, really getting those layers activated and feeling that kind of papery, thin, uh, delicate, um, feeling, uh, you know, where we could almost hold it in our hand. Um, or, or imagine ourselves doing so. So that's the, that is the goal. So we're headed, hopefully we get there. And that's changing rapidly. You know, it looks bluer, maybe a little lighter. It's a little too much. I might use a little bit of this. Um, there's just a little kind of reflected light up here on this edge. Um, all right, working, working on, working on. Um, so working my way toward the light here. You know, these are, some of these areas are a little muddy so uh, I'm always uh, grateful for a limited palette um, I you know cuz I'm, I'm just working into some of the color 
it's just already, it's already there. Um, you can't get off too much either with the limited palette, which is another reason why I push it so much. Um, you're always going to end up very near the same spot. Uh, it can't go too wrong. Okay. All right, we're going to get some of these really beautiful colors in up here. I'm going to switch brushes. Um, leave my brush as it is. I begin this mid-range. So this this will become my mid-range value brush. Still everything is pretty dark, um, but you know, we're just getting to that point where it's starting to turn into the light. Um, you know, and I've got a little bit of real estate here to, to block in. So I use a little more thinner. You know, it looks darker and bluer to the edge. You know, this is as it turns back that way, but it still has a really interesting kind of blue reflective light um, back here and I don't want to miss out on those those are good things and this is this is always a good sign um, that that edge up there is pretty much lost to the background and you know I'm there it's happening that's good um, like those lost edges um, it's, you know it's, it's, how, it's how life works we can't always make out exactly what's where. I tried to up the uh, the overall chroma on my camera, and in hopes to be able to capture the color a little better on this. I don't know if that I got there yet up the saturation on the video feed so that uh, it matched a little more to what I was creating. Still a little dull, so I apologize. Work in progress. I think I'm ready for a little bit of in this corner here. Some of that cad red still mixed in. So I'm not interested in trying to make every one of these lines. So when I unfocus my eyes, just, they're just not there. And that's, that's usually the, my little trick to um, try to see the important details and just not bother with the things that, uh, they just don't matter. Um, and they're not, they're not gonna matter in really getting this thing to sit in the table and, and really work. So I'm not, I'm not going to bother with it. Kind of like that hole. It's nice. I'm going to probably put that back in. That might be one of those details where, yeah, we can include that one. And we can do things like have the stroke follow. 
um, and we can hint at those lines without having to really buckle down and try to capture every little spot um, and it'll work better that way okay we're gonna need um, that dark brush again still that middle um, it's very dark such a beautiful color rich rich red you know itself is getting lighter as it comes up here but um, still a lot of a lot of darkness And then right here, but I'm going to go ahead and delineate that, is where that highlight. Um, and that's going to be fun. There's a, and I might have to exaggerate it just a little bit, there's kind of a way it's a little bluer on this level and a little kind of pink, bluish pink on this level. And then over here it's kind of yellowy. It's going to be good if I can get it. Again, so if you, if you just joined, welcome. It's good to have you. Um, please drop a question off if you have one. Be glad to get to that and just, you know, help you in your art making. You've got things you want to achieve and um, be glad to just be a resource. Okay, still kind of working on this area here in the center. Um, it's dark, but the color is very rich. It's also reflecting. <clears throat> I was, I was debating as to whether I should make this straighter, this edge. I think I'm going to do it. Um, this red. Ooh. So much. I did a red cabbage once. Um, kind of very similar. One of the leaves, the light falling from behind. It was fun. And 
noticing just a little more gradation needs to happen here. Kind of mid. It's coming around there. I just haven't quite got it. Working my way around, I get back out my kind of mid range. This probably won't go all the way into the lights, but I will begin kind of See if I can get that nice a little bit of don't want to do too much. A little yellow. Mixing back into some of the sides of these piles because you know I'm working back in. That edge out. Just let it bump into the background color. And this layer underneath here, a little bluer. quickly changing up as we're getting there I uh, start to get a little tighter and slower in breath as I start to build these little spaces up. So when it gets quieter, just like, oh, he's, he's not breathing. Um,
Let's see where that goes. See if it went over the top. Okay. Working my way to the highlight. Getting excited. It's like where, where it's all gonna, a lot of the painting's gonna rest on you know, how well that's done. There's a careful, careful balance here too between, you know, wanting some of these areas to be light, but also wanting them to have the utmost uh, chroma and color intensity. Um, so, so I think I'm ready to um, pick up my what's going to be my my highlight brush where I block in the lighter values. Um, dip it in a little thinner, but then I wipe most of it out. Um, and it's really kind of intense. It's like orange almost. Yeah, and it realize it's not really can't really see the light against uh, against what I've got going on yet. The important thing to note is that you know it's not it's not white. It, you know, it has it has a lot of color in it, and uh, the closer we get to that working. Better off will be. Orange there, mm, yeah. Starting to do it. And you know the paint's going to get thick here as I again hard to perceive um, online on the video, but these these areas uh, going to be really critical um, to to get right, and because there's some really nice color subtlety, and we've all you know we've seen a red onion, and so whether we realize it or not, we're familiar with how it works, um, so. Clean up the brush. I'm going to change to mostly a highlight that is just white and alizarin crimson for the section here. We can push and pull some of these later. But we're are getting there.
and I'm not really using any thinner, really no medium at this point. I'm just gonna lay it, laying it on really thick. You know, and you'll, you'll see I'm kind of going back between this little orange, this really kind of intense yellowy oranges and then how it's gone bluer and more purple as it comes back around. I mean, the, for me, the painting was just all about this section. I mean, I was, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I get excited for other areas, you know, for, but, you know, there's a few, few spots where I'm like, ooh, I just can't wait to get in there, play with some of those colors. So here I am. Hey, Ahmed, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, make about composition. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it right now if you want. Um, thanks for asking. And I uh, appreciate uh, the, the compliment, uh, Marianne. Uh, composition, I mean, something like this uh, is, uh, is not, uh, there's not, <laughs> not a whole lot to do, right? You know, I've just got an onion, right? <laughs> Um, but, you know, I made a decision, like, for instance, um, you know, if you look in the source material, you know, it's, you see kind of the corner of the table here. Uh, and I, I wanted to make it just a little, a, a rounded table. I don't know if it's just kind of an idea to kind of echo the rounded nature here, but that was my, my thinking. Um, also to having a line that goes off the edge of the canvas, I think is, is really valuable. Those are, um, those are inroads for people to come into the painting. Um, like the viewer needs a way in and uh, it provides a way in uh, lines going off of the edge. So, you know, yeah, come, come on in. Um, and I, uh, so I, so I think about that, even these little ones, I like kind of a line going off of, of the canvas a little bit. I'm trying to get this really beautiful color here as it comes across. But yeah, I, I, I could, you know what I would do on, on a composition video, Ahmed, is I would, uh, I, I should just do a, like our screen record of me going through some of my references when I build a bigger composition. Um, and I can talk about that whole process. And those are the times when I do my bigger compositions that I'm really thinking um, kind of like what you're, you're describing. Um, my mind is uh, thinking about implied line. You know, where, where, does, where does the eye go? Um, and, um, and so, yeah, I, I, I could definitely do that. So think, thanks for the idea. Um, and, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see if on my next, um, composition that I build for, uh, another one of my paintings of the five joyful mysteries, I'll see if I can't just un un unearth that whole process for, for everyone. Um, so, uh, I, I will, I will try to do so. So thanks. Um, it, we, at least with this, you know, in, in choosing this particular, you know, I, I probably took 20 or so, maybe, maybe 30 pictures of this onion. I was playing around. I was tearing, uh, par, uh some of the layers off and laying them underneath here. So that looks like they'd kind of fallen this way. I think just visual interest, you know, that's all I was trying to create. And, um, yeah, it, it, uh, I don't know. I think I'm happy. I'm happy with how, how it's looking and, uh, you know, but for, for a painting of, you know, 
kind of just an onion. It's a uh, I didn't have to think long and hard about the composition, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, but I but I do in other occasions for sure. So I'm exaggerating this a little bit, but there is this uh, the highlight is like this bluer on uh, underneath this layer of the skin, and I wanna we'll see if that kind of goes too far or not uh, when I work the rest of it in um, it just might need that exaggeration I'll probably need a little more work on the background, uh, maybe even in the foreground too. Um, definitely in the background, I should say. I'll probably e either put another layer or, or um, kind of buff it out or do something. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to the buffer brush yet. So that's, that's always an exciting part. on this spot where the curve where the form starts to curve back this can never quite get the color intensity that I want Part of the limitations, which is okay, by the way, you know, it's uh, one of the nice things about these processes. Working, working within the the capabilities of oil paint, recognizing, you know, what is what is possible. And, you know, I, there are like, so if I wanted to, um, I could go out and I could get some crazy phthalo um, tube paints and, and I could mix every color that I see here and I could do it with you know, amazing accuracy, um, but, uh, you know, my, my goal is to use the palette that I have to create, um, to create unity in the colors that are on the palette, um, so that, um, I mean, there's, there's, it, it means it's limited, you know, for you know reason, the world is limited. So there's only so much I can mix with what I have out here. Um, but the fact that I'm coming as close as I can with, with what I have, um, really it, uh, I think it creates its own, I mean, this is, this is where the art piece comes in. You know, we're, we're creating art. I'm not trying to just create a photograph and, um, and in that art creation portion, um, I'm, I'm having to make decisions uh, that are just based on what I have available, uh, what, what I can actually mix. Um, but yeah, it's, good. it's getting exciting now. Yeah, see, this is, uh, it's getting, this is where, um, this is those few minutes where it's really 
coming into being and uh, yeah, that's fun. That's the fun part. Okay. I'm going to try to get up against this uh, blue highlight that I've put and just kind of see, see what happens. Might have to do Oh, just a thing or two. Bump up into it. There's, uh, there's still some very... Some of these colors here, you know, and like I said, I'm not gonna try to do every line of the onion coming down here. But I do want to hint at a couple that I see when I unfocus my eyes. Those are the, um, when I'm looking at my source material, kind of unfocus my eyes and I just see some of the shapes that remain. It's like those are, those are the major players. Everything else is, you know, just extra fluff. Um, not to, you know, don't, don't get too wrapped up around it. I'll even start to mess with my my dark brush to to get uh, this you yeah, know this transition right here uh, proven a little difficult. I mean, it is kind of a hard edge when I look at this when I look at the source material. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna have to soften it some. Yeah, if you have a question, drop it off, let me know. Uh, glad to be of help. So I'm gonna mix a, a blue here that You know, it's still, I'm not going to see if I lay that in here, what happens. Yeah, it softened it, but it needs to be maybe a little lighter. Just a little bit of that alizarin crimson. It's doing okay. What, what's getting lost? And I don't know. So here's a, here's like a decision. So there's, there's an edge here that I want to decide, okay, do I, do I want to tell it? Do I want to actually put a line in here or not? I mean, I can't see it, but you know, debating. So this, this may be, this may be a mistake. Let's see, let's see if I can make a mistake. Um, it's a little shadow line. Holding my breath. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. I'm gonna do it again. I didn't. I didn't hate it anyway. You know, try to mostly avoid those really small details sometimes. this really dark blue in here. I 
you know, so I, I just kinda, I, I just picked up a little bit of that ultramarine blue, dropped it in, and you know, let it happen. Let it do what it was gonna do. And this is just to be trying to cover some of the areas that didn't quite get coverage. And, you know, at this point, I've got kind of various mixtures going on down here, and I can drop in and pull from those to fill in some of these areas. It's another little bulge of kind of... Uh, Um, get at that dark, uh, that little line brush. Just remember how I really was excited to just tell the, you know, the papery layers, the thin flaky layers. So I'm going to take every opportunity I get to these little cast shadows underneath these spaces where appropriate. I don't want to go overboard, but um, you can see how important edges are. You know, I, I just cleaned that up, I covered it, and all of a sudden, you know, it, it the whole form starts to move back and around. Um, so, you know, all art instructors talk about the importance of edges and yep, yeah, you know, they, they do it. They really do a lot of lifting. And I don't know that I want to do this. Like, you know, I see this highlight over here, but I think I'm going to lose some volume if I do that. So there's another reason to, you know, don't, don't always do what the, what the source material is showing because it, you know, I, I want it to, I want it to really feel rounded. And if I put a light color on the edge here, that's going to kind of just take that, it's going to take, it's going to steal that form as it turns around um, that backside. I don't want to lose it. Okay. Now, um, the, uh, the top here, top, really, really bottom, I guess, but I'm going to start setting in some of the color. It's, it's messy. It's, and use a different brush. It's really hard for me to pick out really specific information and that's okay I'm just gonna let what I do see guide me and 
Um, just nothing else needs to happen, you know. I, I guess that's, that's probably just fine. I mean, I'll I'll kind of look back and forth, and maybe I'll see, you know, this pull into here a little bit. Or maybe I'll just kind of take that one stroke, or maybe I see it again here. Um, but on the whole, you know, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with it too much. It's, you know, it's working. And that's, that's good enough. I think we might be at a good time to kind of break out the of a little kind of buffer brush. That's all I, that's what I call it. And it, um, I'll clean up some of my edges. It also causes me to look hard at some other areas and really ask myself, hey, did I get it? Um, And I can decide, okay, do I, you know, for instance, this edge right here, do I really want to make it lighter? Uh, you know, maybe I do. Like, um, mm -hmm. So if I, if I do this, um, you know, I may want to take it all back, but I can try. Okay with that. I, I don't think I want to do much more, but you know these are these are the little decisions. They can add up to good things, or can also add up to regret sometimes. As I said, I did like, I haven't put them in yet. There was a few just like holes, you know, in, we'll, we'll see if I really like this after I do it, you know, it's always the question. Yeah, I like that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know too much, but I, I think that's a nice one. And I may, you know, carry it on down here too. And there are small edges on some of these that, that do fall in the light. Uh, and kind of like I did before, that little shadow may not even be perceptible on video. Um, but I'm going to again try this, uh, this kind of little space right here where I just see this edge catching the light. Not much, let's see. We'll try just a little more. I mean, I think it's okay. It doesn't, doesn't quite detract. Um, so you can do the same thing in some of these areas like here. And this corner is really bright. You know, and I don't want to do it too much, but I can I can pick out a few more. areas where mm -hmm. 
overdid it. Over, overdo it sometimes. Here's where, you know, it, this is, this is the point, you know, every, every painting comes into this space where, um, how long do you keep going? When do you decide to stop? Uh, where, yeah, all, all those things that have to be decided. Um, and in some ways I'm kind of okay with it everywhere that it is and how it's working. Uh, and then in, in other ways, I, I want to just get things a little more clear. So I don't want to lose my brush energy, but I will take this little uh, buffer brush to just um, clean up some edges, knock down some of the, you know, I've had to put on some thick paint to get coverage uh, doing this kind of a la prima um, one, one and done layer. And uh, I've, I've got the areas, you know, they're really excited about in. Um, and so now I'll, I'll play around and see, just knocking down some paint, you know, cleaning up some edges here and there, just to see where, where this ends up. Does it seem like it's really working? Um, this is where I get really, really, really critical. Um, and, uh, I'm just going to keep working on it until, until I'm satisfied. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I wish, uh, I wish, I wish you could be here and see, uh, some of the color subtleties that I fear are, uh, are, are lost. Uh, in the video, but um, another another day, another time. So I'm going to take this little brush. It has nothing on it. I've not done anything to it yet, and I'm going to start working some of the areas around. Um, I'm I'm following the form, so I'm creating these kind of circular strokes that are following what's happening. In, uh, in the form itself. I, I want it to feel rounded. So these are kind of contour line strokes that, you know, if I'm doing like this, the closer I get to the center, I'll be doing more straight and, or I'll still be kind of be kind of circling my way out, um, no matter what I'm doing. Um, and, and these are, these are the sort of things that you don't immediately see, you know, when you, when you, if you were to look at the piece, you wouldn't immediately say, Oh, um, I see what he's done there, uh, but the eye still picks up on it, and um, and then some of these areas here where it's like okay, it's a little too dark. That edge is just really hard, so I'm just softening it. Um, you know, that subtle reflected light down here. It's pulling my brush around. And, you know, go, going at it very easy. This also allows me to pull paint in certain directions too. So if I think, oh, this dark edge needs to move a little bit, I can use this to kind of bring that up or oop, that light, this, the light needs to come down farther. Okay, I'll adjust that. Um, and
one of the spaces that I didn't realize I would be so happy with is, is this uh, bit of skin out here. And I like it so much, I want to spend just a little more time on it now that I've kind of done a second look at it. I'm noticing there's a darker edge just to this whole side of it. And so I'm going to come in here and get some of my nice mixed black. And not too strongly, but just kind of create a little more heaviness to that side. Yeah, not much, but like that. And keep on going to those marks I made. Uh, you know, and so here's one of those spaces where underneath there, this this edge really gets lost, and so. This is a great time for the buffer brush to just really kind of make that happen. I can just kind of mix some of those colors around. Um, and Soften up the shadow some. It's pretty soft. It carries on a little farther than I think I painted it. it decays pretty quickly. I will probably let this dry, come back in with kind of one more layer in and around here and here. I, th I think it deserves it. You know, um, I, I wouldn't say that. Sorry, I'll, sorry paintings, not all, not all of you deserve it. Um, but this one I, um, I'm liking quite a bit. Exciting bit is, uh, I took a bunch of pictures of this onion. There's a, there's, there was a couple that I like. I really liked, um, and so we may look at it a couple more times. In year in years years to come, I don't uh, I don't generally jump right on it right away, but. Uh, there's just those days where uh, maybe I don't have time to run to the supermarket and and get some uh, get uh, a still life supply, um, and so I just have to kind of make do with what I have, and I can kind of pour over some of my old source photos and and find something that is like oh yeah this is good, or oh why why didn't I choose that one last time? Um, that said. Almost always, I, I have already chosen the best one. So, um, I uh, there's there's a clear winner uh, every time. Of like, oh, I just document a lot of these. So there's probably oh, around thirty or so um, pictures. Uh, that I, of of this onion, me trying various angles of light, you know, tilting it, tearing off a layer here and there to make it look interesting. Um, so, I bet there's another painting in there somewhere.
softly working these edges in. Some of that, uh, some of that ground layer showing through here and there. I don't, I don't mind it so much. It's kind of a, a gray green anyhow. Um, like in some of these transitions quite a bit. Um, had uh, someone ask earlier if I would in, um, include this uh, source photo somewhere. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up on my website and um, you're welcome to with a link here. So I'll do that before the chat is done. So if you just, if you leave it up, um, I imagine I'm going to be 3.30. I'm going to probably be wrapping up here um, in um, probably around 20 minutes or so. So uh, you can just, you can just leave it up while I, while I get that sorted and then I can uh, provide a link um, in the chat. Um, yeah, I think I want to soften some of this. That red's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I'm kind of liking it. Uh, that red in that shadow. But as I said, that was that was like that was the thing I was waiting for. You know, as, as I was working working through, I was like, oh, I can't wait till I get there. Um, anyone? Red onions, yellow onions, white onions. What's your favorite? This bad boy uh, was in the stir fry last night, so um, we it was really good too. And this, this little brush here, I, I like to, oh, where appropriate, just kind of gently do a few correct, corrections. And this is kind of my second pass time too, where I'm looking carefully and I'm seeing, you know, hey, what's, uh, what's, what, what's working? Um, does anything need a little bit? Do I, do I want to describe something a little more clearer? Um, maybe a little hyper clarity than what's there um, because it's just looking confusing. So kind of wondering, kind of thinking, you know, maybe I'll do that down here a little bit, um, a little bit more light underneath here, but then it's like, well, then I doubt it. But if I add that, that little bit, I can then kind of come back in with this and soften that area out. And I'm 
Yeah, if you have a question, now's a now's a great time to ask it. As I'm as I'm, as I'm wrapping up, if you got a final thought or an observation, or even a criticism, you can be critical. Do you know that? I'll I'll uh, you'll you'll make the painting better if you're like, hey, you gotta you really gotta address that. Uh, just you know, I am gonna go back over the background. Um, and spend a little more time there, but just not today. Um, or just not on this stream, because let's be honest, do you want to just sit and watch me paint the background? Okay, these are... I'm just hunting and pecking now. Um, Really happy with how it's turning out. Um, maybe I will dive back in a little bit to the background. If you if you don't have one yet uh, in in your studio, uh, uh, a hand mirror is quite nice. Um, allows just for a, a quick fresh look that um you know it, it kind of allows me to see it like i haven't seen it um and then i can get i can get uh, oh yeah that i need to take a look at that or i need to adjust this or that or um and so um Kind of look in, making maybe a little more look, a few like lighter areas here. Get out another one of these and go a little farther. Um, I can clean up my strokes a little bit on this background color. I can make it a little more. Probably needs to be a little darker. Should probably add a little more paint. Um, I'm gonna. I'd been wanting to knock that that stroke down for a little while now, so feeling better. <laughs> um, so this is just a dry brush, I'm calming down. Um, and and where necessary, you know, I'm I'm letting this color just fall directly into um, letting it graze especially like this area you know it's like it in the painting you can't or in the source is like you can't tell where the begins or ends um, and those are always great spaces
you'll notice uh, now that I'm kind of working on this area, I decided to lower the line, um, make the horizon a little lower on the table. Um, just an intuition thing. Also, hey, I'm from Kansas, and uh, you'll notice a lot of my little still lives, there's always kind of a horizon line in the background, and um, that's kind of what we do around here. Look at long horizontals. There's also something I'm doing in um, keeping the paint body thinner back here. And, you know, there was some thicker paint here. That's also something that is perceptible. Um, and uh, make it, whether we realize it or not, we, we, we pick up on, oh, yeah, I see that. Uh, It, it gives a little more of, I mean, we're trying to create space here, we're trying to make an object exist on a plane. Uh, we're kind of illusionists. I've used that term before. If you're, if you're a, a representational painter drawing, uh, you're kind of an illusionist. You're trying to, clearly this is a two dimensional field. No one, no one thinks, that I have now hidden uh, something in here I could reach out and grab, you know, no one's. Um, but I, every bit of information we can use to create that, so even if this is a thicker paint and this is a thinner wash, um, you know, that's gonna, that's gonna come out more. Use value in the same way, you know, dark, darker values recede. Um, lighter values come forward. Um, colors that are more chromatic, uh, more saturated, more intense come forward. Colors that are more neutral go back. So, you know, this composition and this build is utilizing a lot of those to, uh, to create the space um, that makes the makes it, makes it successful, a successful piece. Um, and so, I mean, stack the stack the deck uh, in your favor. Figure out ways to um, use all those attributes that that push and pull, that recede and come forward. Use all those to um, to really create that um, that space you desire in your in your painting. Still just kind of dry brushing this. Still wanted to keep some of the brush energy. Um, Just thinking whether I wanted to kind of end the table and edge here or not. Um, I 
I like to leave that. Sometimes I like to kind of, you know, when it sits in a frame, it kind of feels like that could be the table inside the frame. Sometimes I'll leave it like this. Sometimes I like an edge. Yesterday's peaches were an edge. Um, so, varies. Okay. Let's see. Something is missing. Not quite sure what. Something. Maybe I found a little bit of it. It's where the refinement it can just take a while. It's a little bit of uh, shadow that I'm missing, I'm seeing now. Just extends out just a little bit here, so we're gonna see. These are the things that would it have probably been okay? Yeah, I probably would find if you know I hadn't have dealt with these parts or added, you know, yeah, it probably would have been okay. Um, but um, it just yeah, something there, the table just is like ah, it's not quite there. You know, I really want to feel gravity. Extend that out just a little bit. Like it a little better, I think. brush out here to, you know, I just want to add a little bit of paint there and I'm going to push it back. There's still some fun kind of yellow ochres uh, here, it's just as a kind of a yellow color. I don't want to, don't want to miss out on Some of those plays of like orange green you know in the surface that kind of really sits there thanks for the, thanks for the kind words mary i appreciate hello welcome
These are always a lot of little adjustments. Still kind of a darker line down here. I don't want to lose. It was getting a little too light. I'm going to take another look my impartial judge. Buff out some of these areas here. Yep, it's getting on. Usually, I don't know, the three or so hour mark, which we're getting pretty close to. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting pretty worn down. So if you have a question, let me know. All right. I don't know how much more I really want to do. Can I keep fiddling around with the background, but I think it's all right. I'm going to use some of that color that I've pulled off of it and extend the shadow a little bit. Yeah, okay, uh, hang tight. I'm gonna try to upload this picture uh, to my website and uh, provide a link for anyone watching. And that way um, you can, uh, if you wanna work from the same photo, uh, you can, happy to just include it. Um, so let's see. I do really wish you could see the color. Um, the color here is just totally different. I mean, it's not bad. I, I did a little better job of uh, capturing it. But, um, Actually, why should I? Uh, why should I keep you waiting? Uh, I can. Um, I'll. I'll do. Uh, I'll provide uh, a. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that here. Um, Right. 
Perfect. Yep. We'll provide a source image um, and put that link in the bio, or not the bio, but the uh, what am I on Instagram uh, uh, in the description. So thank you all for for being here. Much appreciated. Uh, really happy with how it turned out, and thanks for being a part of it. Hope you guys have a, a great day. Blessings. Bye.